chronic kidney disease and dialysis, what you need to know. Hello, and welcome. Today we'll be discussing chronic kidney disease and dialysis. Chronic kidney disease affects millions of people worldwide, and understanding the disease and its treatment options is essential for those affected and their loved ones. Segment 1. What is chronic kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, is a long-term condition in which the kidneys gradually lose their function. The leading causes of CKD are high blood pressure and diabetes, but it can also result from other conditions or genetic factors. In the early stages, there may be no symptoms, but as it progresses, patients may experience fatigue, swelling, and changes in urination. Segment 2. Treatment Options the primary treatment for CKD is medication and lifestyle changes to manage symptoms and slow disease progression. Some of these medications include High blood pressure medications Medications to relieve swelling Medications to treat anemia Medications to lower cholesterol levels Medications to protect the health of your bones However, in later stages, dialysis may be necessary. Dialysis is a process that helps remove waste and excess fluid from the body, and it can be done in two ways, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. If you need more information on CKD, please visit our website at kidneytree.com. Segment 3. Types of dialysis and treatment for CKD. Similar to being placed on a low-protein diet, dialysis decreases the workload on your kidneys and provides you time to secure the final treatment, which is a kidney transplant. The two types of dialysis for CKD are Hemodialysis Hemodialysis is the most common form of dialysis. During hemodialysis, the patient's blood is filtered through an artificial kidney, or dialyzer, which removes waste and excess fluid. Hemodialysis treatments typically last three to four hours and are usually done three times per week at a dialysis center. Peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is another form of dialysis that can be done at home. It involves inserting a catheter into the patient's abdomen, which fills the abdominal cavity with a special fluid that absorbs waste and excess fluid. The fluid is then drained and replaced with fresh fluid several times per day. This process is called an exchange and can be done manually or with a machine. Transplantation. In some cases, kidney transplantation may be an option. This involves transplanting a healthy kidney from a living or deceased donor into the patient. Transplantation can provide a better quality of life and more freedom than dialysis. After your kidney transplant, you will also need to attend frequent appointments at the transplant center. So they can monitor how your new kidneys functions and your adjustment to the new immunosuppressant medications. In conclusion, chronic kidney disease is a serious condition that requires proper management and treatment. Medication and lifestyle changes are the primary treatments, but in later stages, dialysis or transplantation may be necessary. It is essential to work closely with healthcare providers to understand the treatment options and make informed decisions about managing the disease. Thank you for listening, and we hope this information has been helpful.